So it's it's just at the time, you know, it's 20 years since um, Gibraltar was was seized uh, in 1704, uh, and the warrant is basically signalling one of the starts of the Anglo-Spanish wars. And, and now this is something that um, obviously times have changed drastically since then, and we're now NATO partners with Spain. And we have really really good relationships with marinas in Spain as well as we operate our marinas here. Um, but I think it's a really interesting piece of history that shows. Um, how the hostilities were beginning um, you know, very close to Gibraltar and it was a message from um, uh, the First Lord of the Admiralty um, to Sir Charles Wager who was running the, the British fleet um, down in the Mediterranean uh, to basically begin to you know, protect uh, the British interests which obviously included Gibraltar. Now, there may, of course, be still some maritime tensions between the UK and Spain here in Gibraltar, but this is, of course, from a completely different time in their history. Yeah, definitely. And I think the, the, the reason behind the piece, I think, is to, you know, we intend to put this in a, in a building, perhaps in, in, in the marina area, um, in Ocean Village. And one of the things that we're doing with the Heritage Trust is, is to make sure that this is um, depicted in a way that helps to explain the completely different scenarios that we had then. And I think it's more a, a piece of interest rather than signifying um, that level of hostility. We have you know, a really good relationship now with marinas um, across the bay and throughout Spain. So it's more a question, I think, of showing how far we've come since then. And also just, you know, I think, at least putting to show a piece that's been held by um, a UK collector for many years, not in the public view. And now to bring it to the public view so that people can read it and, and learn more about it. And finally, how will this be put on display? How will people be able to go and see it? So what we're going to try and do is put um, put this piece together, so the actual original piece on display, uh, protected by a UV glass. Um, and then what we'll probably do as well is put a couple of images of the third Earl of Berkeley and also of Sir Charles Wager, who's, who's buried in Westminster Abbey. Um, and we'll probably also put some text just outlining what, what this says because you know, it, it can be quite hard to decipher what's being written in the document as well.